Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Head Football Coach Ed Hoddle. And Coach, uh, last week you went up to Albright for your uh, conference opener and came away with a big W. Yeah, it was a good trip. Um, you know, anytime you can go to Albright and get a win, it's it's a big win for your program. Um, you know, historically they're they're very strong in the MAC, and um, you know, a day trip for us, which is a little bit out of the ordinary. Uh, getting up early Saturday morning, jumping on a bus and going up. A um, little bit of a slow start, yeah. Um, but overall, you know, I was pleased with our performance. Yeah, I'm just kind of going through it. Uh, second quarter, a couple of big things that stood out. One, um, they were down on their two yard line, third and goal at the two, and you were able to make a defensive stop. Mm -hmm. And then um, in the final minute, you kind of touched down and uh, took the lead as time expired on a field goal to go up at halftime. I talk about the momentum going at halftime, and you carried that in the second half. Well, I think for us, it was big. Um, you know, again, with a little bit of a slow start for us, um, them taking advantage of some of our miscues on defense. And, you know, to not play particularly well and come out with a one-point lead at, at, at the half was was certainly exciting. I think it gave the guys a little bit of a lift going into the third quarter. Yeah. And in the third quarter, you come out, you score in your opening possession. Um, then really kind of, not the backbreaker, but really, really shift the momentum as Hanif Jones comes up with an mm -hmm. interception and a touchdown return, and that makes it a two-score game. Absolutely. You know, anytime you can score a defensive touchdown, um, particularly after you've scored an offensive touchdown after, you know, a nice opening half drive, um, it was big. And, and, you know, at that point, we, we were feeling pretty good. And, you know, it opens up the playbook on both sides of the ball and gives the kids a little bit of extra bounce. And um, fortunately, we were able to execute the rest of the way. Yeah. And if you obviously you look, you look by a score 50-21, you want to say, obviously, the offense had a good day. But obviously, the defense, you know, pitched a second half shutout. And, uh, you know, I don't remember the exact yardage, but the uh, the total yards in the second half was like, I think you held them 50 yards or something like that. Sure. You know, our defense is growing up a little bit. You know, on the back end of that group, there's some some young guys that don't quite have, you know, a ton of game experience under their belts. And, you know, and they're getting better and, 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 and really adapting to what Coach McCray and Coach Nelson are putting in. So it's exciting to watch them continue to progress, you know, week to week, but even, you know, from half to half, taking a, a halftime adjustments yeah. and going out and being able to execute at a high level consistently is something that we're very excited about. Yeah. And then on the offensive side of the ball, you look, there's a lot of balance. There's not one or two guys that kind of dominate the stat sheet. You've got, you know, different guys scoring touchdowns. You know, I think uh, however many, you know, six or seven different guys with touchdowns on Saturday. Just to have that balance so they can't key in on maybe one or two receivers or one or two backs. Sure, it's been it's been interesting. You know, Monday, um, we, we kind of go through the stat sheet with the guys and, um, you know, congratulate the guys on their first college touchdowns. And, yeah. and it's been a... You know, there's been a handful mm -hmm. each of the last couple of weeks, which is exciting from an offensive perspective yeah. that, that we are able to spread the ball around and take advantage of, of our personnel in the way that we've done it over the last several weeks is exciting for the program. Yeah, absolutely. Now shifting gears this week, uh, another conference game again on the road. Um, you're up at Kings, um, you know, a team that uh, put up a bunch of points last week um, and scored a little bit. Um, just talk about going into that game, what you need to do to kind of, um, you know, to continue to build on what you did last week and uh, – keep the momentum up well for us it's you know it's a long trip it's it's our third straight week on the road so um understanding how to prepare on the road understanding you know staying in a hotel the night before um is going to be big and how we prepare uh to be the best football team that we can be on saturday at one o'clock is going to be the key for us yeah absolutely all right coach well we wish you the best of luck this saturday and we'll talk to you next week thank you greg all right for ed hoddle i'm greg royce this has been the ed hoddle show